Okay, uh, so I'm Abad, and uh, this is my minimalist presentation because, as Richard mentioned, um, I'm one of those procrastinators who did not prepare anything. So now I put this together. And in case you're wondering, this is not a proposal for a new wiki. The name is just a work in progress. So the main idea here is for all of the multilingual folks who may have tried to translate articles that look a bit like gibberish sometimes, as this coming from XKCD or whatever tries to elaborate. Uh, some articles are just impossible. Um, although knowing who Wikimedians are, I have a hunch that at least a few people in the room know what this article is about, but it's not fun to translate, I can tell you that. <laughs> so what we're trying to do, we did a little research into the problems that translators have because uh, I speak like a few languages, uh, I've been translating on Wikipedia for 15 years. Uh, we interviewed some people. This is not like data based on statistically significant, like 100,000 people survey. It's just a bunch of people we interviewed. But we found out that, and surprisingly, people spent a ton of time trying to figure out the translations for special, like technical terms, difficult terms, like the ones we just saw. Uh, and also, our community in Arabic Wikipedia, that's where I come from, uh, it spends a lot of time discussing those terms. So. Uh, I just went to our, we have a special village pump for discussing terms and linguistics. Uh, it amounts to one book every year. And that's just to discuss or agree on like a couple of terms, uh, a handful of terms. So what we're doing is this new experimental project. It's uh, actually funded by Strategic Grant. Um, sorry that this thing is making some noises. Anyway, um, so it's a work in progress, just so you know. Uh, but what we're trying to do, we have this uh, very nice list of dictionaries in Arabic Wikipedia that people really use a lot. I know most of you, or none of you probably can read a lot on this page, uh, but what you have on the leftmost column is the amount of citations for each of those. So this is a list of over 1,000 dictionaries that people compiled over the years, because that's how much effort we put into identifying vocabulary and finding translations. And uh, in total, they have been cited over 30,000 times so far. Uh, so this is something we know people are using a lot. Uh, now you may wonder, how do you find the term you're looking for among a list of 1,000 dictionaries? And the answer is people just search them one by one. <laughs> so this is the model that we have. Uh, it's just uh, like a prototype that we have put together. Uh, the infrastructure is something we're still working on. But the idea is that while you're translating Wikipedia articles, hopefully in content translation at some point, although there are some challenges in that, um, if you're translating from a multilingual article, you click on a term and you get prompted uh, with this recommended translation based on our database. Uh, and the database would actually help you cite the translation automatically, because that's also something people spend a ton of time on right now. Uh, and uh, just to put this into a couple of steps, we're trying to digitize all of those dictionaries put them in one place, and then based on the uh, amount of agreement between those dictionaries and based on the context of this term, because most terms have more than one sense, uh, we can recommend like the translation that is most frequent across the dictionaries. Or uh, we can also have some very nice features like community endorsement, because people have spent those 60,000 words discussing the terms, and then nothing happens as most Wikipedia discussions in the Polish form end up. Uh, this is a workable prototype we have. I only have access to it on my Wikipedia account, so thank God I put the screenshots. I couldn't put my laptop in. Uh, but yeah, um, it's still like very, very basic visually. Uh, but we're getting there. We have actually over 100,000 terms in our database so far, uh, but the uh, user interface is still not quite there. Oh, uh, that's actually it. Um, that's four minutes, so I'm doing well on time, and I guess I can take one or two questions if any of you would like to ask them. That's it. Data. Hmm? Uh, so we were thinking of storing the database itself on Wikidata. Uh, there is this uh, Lexemes feature in Wikidata. I'll be very honest. I'm very confused about how that works still. Like we want to use it, we want to have things live in one place, but so far it's on a MariaDB uh, on the Toolforge. So um, yeah, right now it's not linked with the Wikidata, but if we understand 
how it fits and if someone here would like to help us figure that out, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, you had mentioned that there were some issues with the content translation tool in relation to making the living days. Could you elaborate more on that? Yeah, so I talked to a couple of people from the language team and it turns out that integrating things into content translation is pretty much not an option. Yeah, exactly. Again, just like lots of things in the wiki world. It is, and I feel like I don't think wiki translation, I mean, corrected translation, I don't think it's like in its current form, it's not there yet, and this kind of addition was really augmented. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.